I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it. A life worth living is a life with meaning. I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating. I'm feeding this demon. Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face. Work a job every day till your dreams fade away. Like a card, never change. Play the game. Hey, hey, everybody, it's Jeff with ID10T Garage. I'm actually out here in my office, not in the garage, because I'm going to talk to you about this grill that I've been designing for the 71 Torino GT that's supposed to somewhat be like the Cobra Grill. And I don't want you to think it is a Cobra Grill. It is not a Cobra Grill. It just has similarities. It's designed off of the general look of it. And I'm just going to kind of go over where we are with it. And the things that I'm going to do, I'm probably going to put together too on, on this. But, you know, it's going to be a time lapse. It takes time. It takes a lot of work. I still got some more pieces to print as well. I've got four more pieces. I've got to print the, the mounting brackets to the edges uh, are, are still needing to be printed. But I want to go over what we got right here. So let's see what we can do. So here we are. As you can see, I've got a lot of pieces. So, so we've got three pieces per side and then the center. So you got eight pieces right now. So, and this has been cleaned up already. These are actually made out of the PETG material, which will be the final material. This is actually PETG as well, but it is carbon fiber. PETG and I'm playing with some trim rings. These are actually just the seven inch retainer trim rings for the uh, Mustangs, so it's like 65 to 68 or well 64 to 68 headlight trim ring retainers So might be able to use those to modify a little bit to give it a nice little You know shiny exterior on these. I've tried a couple other pieces. This works as well with some adjustments but it goes in too much and I think it will block um, the actual light because of how big it is. I don't think we'll get a good work out of that. But so middle, it takes two pieces to make the headlight area. And then we have the, you know, the center bezel or not the center bezel, but the center grill piece or mid grill piece, I guess you would say. So two mid grill pieces four end pieces and then our center section I also have to print the cover for here that retains the Cobra emblem I have now I've got three different designs for this and I'm going to continue to work on those because I'm going to see if I can actually make the stock split grill emblem fit here so I will do a design that will allow that uh, actually holy shit that fits, so I might need to recess it, but I mean, as is, it fits in the spot that I have designed for my piece. So I'll have to trim it a little bit and then make it where these pieces go. But I mean, that'd be really cool to actually have just the split grill piece fit in there real nice like. So I've got that thanks to a, a guy that's on the forums. I've got one of the standard 70 grill pieces i have a design that i'm hoping that will allow this to fit here as well uh it'll be recessed in as well so that'd be really cool to get that in there and i believe sorry about this folks i've got this one which i don't know i think this goes to the falconer not the Falcon, but the other one. I can probably make this work too. This design. I'm trying to see here. I think it would fit in there quite nicely, actually, um, based on the angle. So that's kind of. Nah, the angle really doesn't quite fit. It doesn't match up to the angle of the grill. I was hoping it would. It might still work though, but it will obviously stick out a little bit. We'll see. If there's interest in that, I might work something there. But I got some stuff there that we're working on. But 
Next, I'm going to go ahead and get working on assembling this. So I'll do a quick video of that. I'll, I'll, I'll overview a little bit, and then we'll flip into time lapse for me to put it together. So, and that will end up looking like this with the full end piece on it. This is just the PLA version uh, that I did. Uh, it took me a long time to get everything sorted out. But, you know, I will assemble this so you guys can kind of get an idea. Uh, to give you some of an idea of what this takes, right with these eight pieces sitting here right now, is 133 hours of just print time. I'm not talking assembly. I'm not talking cutting all the edges off. So one of the things you'll notice is there's some edging on here. And that helps the print stay on the platform. Um, it's an adhesion promoter, essentially. Um, and that's so it doesn't bow up during printing and cause it to not be flat on the bottom. So that's kind of, you know, I got to clean all that stuff up before I assemble it. So that's another thing that we'll be doing. So, all right. Just want to give you guys the, the general overlay of what it's going to be. Like I said, I'll, I'm about to start assembling and clean all this stuff up. So. All right, everybody, so I was having some issues. I think my prints had some issues along the way because the bolt holes weren't lining up. Some of them are a little skewed, so I might have just put the inserts in not quite right. So what I'm doing is I'm plastic welding them together. Basically, I'm taking a soldering iron along the seams and creating a mesh point. So a lot of times what I would do is I'd put uh, super glue of some sort, and then I would then weld it together so it kind of gets both the super glue to hold it together and uh, this weld to do it so I'm going to do that to show, show you how I do it so this will be interesting to see how it goes basically get it lined up properly And take the soldering iron and create a mesh point and I use my finger to kind of smooth it back out and what I can do is I can take the filament back later and fill in the hole so I'm creating a little bit of a crease right now but I'm getting it flat and I come along create this crease which is welding the plastics together and we do this on the front and on the back I do it on the top as well I do it a little deeper on the top because I'm not worried about aesthetics as much and yet again gives it a nice hold and like I said I'll come back and I'll fill in a lot of these these holes that we're creating we're not really holes they're just valleys per se and then we're gonna do it along the back side as well because we want it nice and structurally sound and what I also do on the back side a lot of times is I'll put deep holes in them because I need this flat uh, just to put you know the um, the mounts on the back but I also don't need it to look pretty so in these deeper areas where I have a thicker area I'll put this down in here that way we go through pretty deep and get a nice weld together so we just go through and get it nice and welded together here and 
and that's pretty much it like I said I need to fill in that it's not too bad and now we gotta get these mounts on here so but it's together so this is one solid piece now um, we can do a lot more yet again I said I do those big holes especially here in the center one of the places I like to do that so we get a nice deep section where it's welded together and even if I don't do real good at getting it smooth I can take the soldering iron go back over it smooth it out some more I mean that's all it is is you really heating the, the metal together just melting plastic on plastic Right, so now we got all our pieces. So I've plastic welded the center section together. I've plastic welded each of the side sections together. Um, I've got one of the grill mounts. This is one of my previous grill mounts. I just changed this for a particular reason. So you can kind of get the idea. This goes on the back of this and is what basically goes around the headlight. So I'll flip this over real quick. So you got your flat, flat back to these and this will go on here like this so we get lined up actually I'm got it turned the wrong way because this actually probably goes to the other side so that's why it's not quite matching up the way it's supposed to let me grab the other side you can't see but this is actually where the cutout is um, and then you go put this on here and we got our mounting holes where I'm gonna have bolts here and here this one's at a 14 degree angle so and what I'm gonna do actually I'm sorry this one's at a 14 degree angle it looks like and this is our flat spot um, I've thickened this up on the other one and what I've done is I've added a middle section that's going to bolt these together. So instead of just welding everything together as one, I'm going to keep the ends separate. And I'll show you essentially what I've done with these mounts if my computer come up. Here we go. See, I've got these mount pieces right here that come off of the this back section. And this is what's going to allow the end pieces to attach to the middle pieces. And these mounts right here will attach to the back side of those middle uh, grill sections. And then so you'll just attach the two middle pieces from here to the middle section. And that's what's going to attach these ends to the actual middle of the, the grill. And with all these mount locations to mount them to the headlight buckets there's going to be some adjustability basically I'm going to run four inch screws and do some inserts instead of the little plastic pieces that are currently holding everything to the headlight buckets I'm going to do some rib nuts put rib nuts in there and then use bolts that way you have adjustability so there's a little bit of slide right and left uh, that I've allowed with the, the way these brackets are made and then you'll be able to get your back and forth depending on if your buckets are different or maybe they're bent or something that allow you to kind of really tweak it to where it needs to be and get it lined up so that's the general idea there so hopefully we get some good mounts com and configured so but that's pretty much it like I said you know I've got the whole grill done in PETG um, so this would be a usable grill piece at this point as far as being able to put it on the car this material is UV uh, resistant um, so it's, it's a really good piece uh, this is printed in carbon fiber PETG which is even stronger that's just regular PETG so I'll probably end up reprinting that for my car because uh, I'm gonna want it to match uh, this filament is just a lot more expensive um, Prints in about the same time. It's a little more matte finish. 
you can kind of see it here you know it's you know got a little bit of shine you can kind of see the sparkles of CF here you just got a little more gloss it doesn't print as well uh, based on what my printer is doing so I'll probably reprint all that plus my middle section has an issue there's a gap right here it's hard to see let me see if I turn this if you can see it uh, yeah there you go you can see there's that gap so there was a mistake in one of my designs uh, which I've already corrected so I'll have to reprint that either way but once I get my mounts printed out I'll be able to do another test fit and see if we can get this on the car 100% so that's it I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a card never change, play the